thought you guys might be interested in this saw I picked up the other day. It's a right, uh, I guess you'd call it a chainsaw, but it's not a chainsaw. There's a few other videos of these floating around. It's a reciprocating saw. And I picked it up at a sale the other day. Pretty rough shape, obviously. I'll kind of get a closer shot of it here. It's obviously not been run in a while. That is surprisingly sharp. When I went to pull it over, it's hard to see, but there's a mud dauber nest because they didn't have the spark plug in it. Obviously the coil wire is not good. Uh, I thought we'd just open it up and we'll take a quick look, see if we can get it running. I'm not going to do a full restore on this, but uh, we'll just kind of see what see what it's made of. I've kind of started to take it apart and then I decided maybe I'd make a video out of this. So I've got some of the hardware loosened up a little bit. You can see in here it's full of mud dauber nest. Really makes it all gooped up. The tank, I went ahead and took off the fuel line. Pull that tank off there. I think I've got one more screw on the back side. And that tank will come right off. Okay. Let's set that guy right there. Okay, so... That side is completely full of mud dauber. There was a little bit of a corn and stuff that had fallen out of it, so there must have been a mouse in there too. Everything is just filthy. It needs completely taken apart and gone through, but I just don't want to go through that much today. So we'll see what we got here. It did have some fuel in it actually, that's what it looks like. Smells like varnish. Pretty nasty, but at least I know it holds fuel. That's good. Let's see. I started to take this off already, but Wow, that was an active bunch of bees. A lot of, a lot of nastiness there. Flip her around that side. More of the same over here. Ugh. Gross. Kind of nasty. Underneath it, though, doesn't look too bad. I think we'll get the vacuum. What should totally happen here is I should take the head off so I can really clean it out, but trying to find a head gasket and all the parts, I just kind of want to see if the thing turns over like it should, makes compression. I think if I get it real clean, spray a little oil down in there, 
we can kind of see what we got. It is full. That's a good reason to not leave it sitting around with the spark plug out, I guess. That's not good. So, not only is the spark plug full back here behind the flywheel, it's like, seems to be pretty packed full of mud too. So, go at it again. A little more. Okay, got that cleaned up a little bit. We're just going to kind of brush off some of this loose stuff. This thing is filthy. I got all the dirt out of the cylinder, blew it out really good, and I went ahead and put some oil in the cylinder just to give it some lube and help the ring seal. And now, I do actually have a little compression. You can probably hear that. So, I don't know, maybe it'll run. I wouldn't run it much, but if we can get it to pop off, that would be cool. It's probably got points. They're probably dirty. I'm going to tape up that spark plug wire and see what happens there. Definitely has an interesting mechanism that's not like anything i've seen it looks like maybe when the rpms come up it'll actuate i suppose that's what you would call it, some kind of a clutch i don't know i don't know anything about these i bet people are gonna really school me on this thing i don't know if that carburetor is it tillotson or i don't know we'll take a look all that oil in that exhaust is just for me soaking it with oil. We can probably all agree that's not going to work. If it doesn't shock me, it'll ground out on the case. Maybe both. It'll be fun to watch, but I've been through it before and I don't need to do it again. Let's take this and boy is that filthy. Let's see how much we can clean that wire up.
obviously we're not doing top quality restoration work here I mean that's for sure I just want to see if this thing will pop off that's all just for fun some future thing I might take this apart and try and fix it up and make it like new not today I got too many other things going on so we'll just see if we can just do something fun hard to be patient but we can do it if we have to let's see kind of hold it that's all it's got to do That's not something I'd brag about, but I bet it's gonna, I bet it's gonna do it. We're just gonna tape that up real good. I've got a little bit of a, I've got a little bit of this rubber tape. This stuff is great. It's very sticky. And it's real thick rubber. We will see how heavy we can wrap it. Another course over here. All right, that almost looks like a plug wire. What would really be nice here is I've got some of that liquid electrical tape, but it's not here, it's at my other shop. I like using that stuff, but we'll just use a little bit of black tape on it. This will keep that rubber tape from unraveling. That's all. So it's not fancy, but I bet it's going to work. So in order to check spark, we want to see if we got spark before we do anything, or we're just kind of wasting our time. So I've taken, I put a socket on the drill here. I know that this rotates in that forward direction. Let's see if I can zoom in on this spark. See if you guys can see this or not. I'm going to try not to shock myself. Let's see if she'll give spark. Oh, can you see that? It's got a good spark on it. Oh, yeah, a real good one. That's how you know it's good. If you don't shock yourself on it once, then what's the point? That just makes the whole project a little more memorable. Okay, so we've got spark. We've got some compression. I'm pretty sure it's going to run. Obviously, that carburetor that carburetor needs gone through there's no question about it it's old and filthy but sometimes if you can just get them to pop off maybe it'll run I'm gonna try it we're gonna see what happens see if we can find a plug and then I'm gonna put this thing back together
I think I'm going to take this and wash it out just a little bit. Uh, there's no point in having a bunch of junk go into our brand new. Well, there ain't nothing brand new. Going into our saw. Well, we have a small problem. The good news is the tank cleaned up really nice. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you'll never see in there, but it's pretty clean. The bad news is this is a fuel shut off and it's broke off. The handle part is broke off right there. So I can't get any fuel and it's going to need a new pet cock. But for today, I wanted this to be about a 20 minute video. I don't really want to spend too much time. So let's see if we can get the burr off the end and open this guy up. Let's see, that's the packing and then there's another little nut here. Maybe that's what you turn, I don't know. Maybe that little nut is our... Man, wouldn't you think there'd be a handle on that? Apparently the nut is it. So that's good news. It isn't broken. I just don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Got it. I just... That is a strange... There's not much to get your fingers on, I guess, is the part that I find weird about it. But we'll make this packing just a little tighter. Okay. Well, that's good. Cool. Problem solved. I don't really know what fuel mixture would be on this, but I know the old two-stroke stuff I've dealt with before, it uses more, it uses richer, you know, everything now is like 51. This old stuff sometimes is 16 to 1 or 32 to 1 or somewhere in there. I don't know for sure, so when in doubt, we're going to use extra. It isn't going to hurt it to smoke, but probably going to be hard on it to run it with a lean mixture. This is the air cleaner, or if you want to call it that. Someone has replaced a factory clamp here. Can we get that to loosen? There we go. Oh, that's kind of neat. So it's got a spiral wound air filter on it. Pretty dirty. Maybe I'll just run a brush through there. And probably plug it up more than it'll clean it, but at least now it doesn't look quite so filthy inside. Okay. Well, let's see, we did her. Let's see, yellow lever back to choke. Shows you where the idle mixture screw is. There's a power. Why are we fighting this? Alright, if it'll... It says, power mixture adjust. Adjust wheel for when it's cold. Idle speed control screw black. Idle mixture adjust screw and yellow lever back to choke. Okay, well, they give you all the instructions, so I guess if you don't know what you're doing at that point, you're just not meant to know. Okay, stick that bad boy on there. Okay. Do we have any fuel come out of here? Somehow, when I checked this earlier, that 
pickup goes down. So this must have some kind of a pump. This must have a diaphragm that pumps fuel out of the tank. We're just we'll see if it works. I don't know. Oh, let's see. This is not the right fuel hose. It's not going to last. It'll get hard. This is vacuum hose, but it's going to work for what we're doing. You have to really be able to flex it just to get it on there. There we go. Let's see. I'll just take that and work her over a little. Why wouldn't that work? Okay, I think we're ready to try and start it. Okay, got us a little fuel here. I don't really love spraying tons of starting fluid in it. Sometimes that can be a bad deal. Especially on something like this that's old and tired and we just don't need to blow it up right off the bat. Just give us a little spritz of fuel in there. Choke it a little. Okay, that's a good sign. It's unchoking. She's going to be smoky because I filled that cylinder up with oil. So it's just going to smoke like a freight train for a little while, no matter what, whether the carburetor works or not. It's going to smoke. That's okay. Ooh, okay, it's got compression, so there's no problem there. Okay. Let's do some fiddling. Let's assess. I just think we have plenty of fuel in there, but let's top it off. Maybe that's the difference. I'm sure it's going to take some time to get fuel pulled up in there. Oops, we got a mess. Anyway. Well, now that we dump gas all over everything, okay. We know we've got a spark plug wire that's not in good shape, so it'd probably be nice if we didn't catch the whole thing on fire. Okay. Alright, let's give her a little spritzer. Okay. In order for this to work, Obviously, it has to be able to draw fuel. I could have a restriction. Who knows? And it just doesn't want to let it be sucked up through there. Let's pull this little piece of hose off. I don't want to fight it. I'm going to cut it because I don't want to... Uh, break off one of these little nipples fighting with that hose. So let's take this guy. And My word, it's hot out today, guys. It is hot out today, and that's all I can say about it. It's Iowa, and it's July. And then you're fighting with an o-ring on a vacuum pump. 
Okay. Take that. Take this. We'll do that. Let's get this. Okay, so now let's not use that one. Let's use this one. Okay, so we should be able to suck fuel right out of that tank. But will it? Let's look. Well, it's pulling a little fuel now. It pulled a lot of air at first. Can you guys see that? We are pulling fuel now. Pretty good. It's pulling it right up. So we do have fuel from our tank, so that's good. You know what would be really neat? Maybe we should put a clear piece of tubing in here so we can see what's going on. That might be a good idea. Then we would know, wouldn't we? Let's try that. I'll just stick this little guy on here. This cheap vinyl tube will never last. It'll get brittle. This, we're just experimenting, so this does not have to be a long-term solution. Does not have to be. Okay, how about it? now? At least now we can look, we can see that, uh, we can see if we have fuel in there, which I can see there is some fuel in there, so let's try that again. Probably be a lot like before. I can say about it. It does run. It obviously needs the carb gone through. I think once we do that, it's probably going to run good. Let's do one more quick little walk around. So, it's all right. It's distributed by Port Huron Machine and Supply Co. out of Lincoln, Nebraska. Kind of hard to read that. Don't know what the T stands for, but someone will tell me. And on the front says power saw blade. That is just a wickedly sharp little blade there. It goes back and forth so fast it's just a blur. I'm not going to try and cut anything with it. It needs lubed up. I just want to see if she'd fire off, and it did. Be a project for another day. But anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And some of you may know I haven't posted a new video for probably a year or more. I just haven't had time. But I do think maybe I'll start making some more. So appreciate you watching. Uh, if you like it, subscribe. Maybe I'll try and get some more videos up there. Thanks.